Director for Q&A. Yeah. Okay. We hate you. Yes. We don't hate you. We love you, actually. Um, be proud of your prior work for Morris Paris. It's one of my favorite films. Earlier, what you said, though, uh, about putting the same amount of thought and work into a short, and this, of course, being really short, you know, and not a lot of resolution at the end. Um, I'm curious where that work lies in this. I mean, you know, you have the book blast music, and it was probably it was a very fast worker. But where does all the work, because this is deceptively simple, and I'm just curious to hear you verbalize where all the work goes. Well, uh, first of all, writing it. It's uh, something I have never uh, uh, wrote before, uh, a horror film. Second, um, the location, finding the right location. Uh, third, we, I shot it in a very small camera, on Nikon, which is this big, and uh, learning how to use it. The casting, we went all to Texas to find these kids. They had never acted before. They were like, hey kid, you want to go to a film? Yeah, okay, perfect. <laughs> uh, finding the right actress also. And, um, and to prepare the rollover of a car, run over a deer. It was shot only in two days. Wow. Having an accident with a deer, with non-actors, with uh, an actress hanging upside down, and a little girl. It has kind of problem. Of course, it doesn't take the same amount of time that a long feature, but it takes the same amount of passion. Yes? Why don't you classify it a horror, not a suspense? Uh, why horror? Yeah. Uh, I think it was interesting to, to explore horror. No, why would you classify it as horror and not, not more like a suspense or a drama? Why, he's asking why is considered horror and not suspense. Well, I think it's a romantic comedy, but few people understand. It. <laughs> <laughs> These kids are going to have a very beautiful love affair. <laughs> I think it's horror because um, I think the worst nightmare for a mom is to see that a stranger takes out, that takes away, sorry, your your son or daughter. <clears throat> Yes. Um, I'm just kind of a question about the mother in your film. Why did it take her so long to get out of the position she was in the car? Uh, why she takes so long? Because she has uh, her spine is completely broken, and uh, she's in a lot of pain. And after a long time, she manages to 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 get out. It's written how it gets out, but we wanted. Uh, we thought. The way she's crawling, we guess people know that she's so um, wounded that it's difficult for her to get out. Question? Yeah, last question. Do you want to tell us about the shoe or do you just want us to think about it? <laughs> no, no, you tell me. <laughs> no, the idea is that people will build a film in their head, what happened, who these guys are, where they are taking her. I have no, I have no answers. Thank you very much. All right. Now I'd like to welcome down the director of In Fear, Jeremy Lovery, to introduce this film. Basically, um, thank you very, very much for coming. I mean, that's pretty much what I'm going to say, because uh, uh, there is a Q&A now afterwards, and you can tell me what you think of the film. Um, I'm incredibly excited to have it here, because it's pretty much the first public screening, certainly the first time in a screening in a you know, real cinema where you can buy popcorn and things, so <laughs> it is really exciting for me. Um, I shot the film without the actors knowing the story and without them having a script. Um, so I didn't spend a long time 
one's work out as good. Um, but it meant that they didn't know what was going to happen next. They had no idea whether they were going to live or die. And they didn't know from one moment to the next whether they could trust me or whether they should run away and leave me. Luckily, they did stay with me. And um, I hope you do. And I uh, hope you enjoy it. And thanks very, very much. See you all. <laughs>